another giant. Oh my gosh. Got another giant, boys. This one's about eight or nine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's probably about eight. Oh man. I'm flipping a, a gambler, little otter. And this with a one and a half and once again I'm on these chop grass mats but they seem to like that little kind of beaver style bait let me show it to you real quick man oh man check that thing out just a giant dude probably about seven and a half or so maybe not all the way to eight just a beautiful fish let me show you what I'm using here I'm actually using the smaller version, ironically. It's a gambler, little otter. It's just a little beaver style bait with a paddle tail on the back. I'm liking the black and blue. You can catch them on just about any color, but right now it just seems like those bigger fish are hitting the black and blue. You don't get as many bites. You get some more bites if you go to like a green or a pumpkin, but um, that's the girl right there. Little swim tails on it, paddles in that, and ribbed. But it just seems like that, that beaver deal, that beaver style bait. And even the small ones, man, look how small that bait is for that fish. But just flipping with a one and a half and you can see this nasty garbage. There's a little pocket way in the back and he crushed it, man. He hit it before it even hit the bottom, just swatted it. That's what I'm talking about, man. bait that won the Bassmaster Classic. This is Gambler's Ugly Otter. It's a great versatile bait for flipping. It comes in two different sizes. You have the original otter and then you have the little otter. The little otter is actually what I was using in the vid. It was a post frontal day and I wanted a little smaller presentation and it also allowed me to slip through the mats a little bit easier and so I think it actually got me a few extra bites in the long run of the day and obviously the size of the bait doesn't play so much of a role in the size of the fish. That fish went about eight pounds and it came on a tiny little bait. It's a great bait though, it's a beaver style bait. Um, in the vid I was rigging it on a one and a half ounce tungsten paired with a gambler KO hook. It's a straight shank hook. But there's a lot of different ways you can present the bait. Um, one of my favorites, especially being down here on Lake Okeechobee and on Florida natural lakes, is flipping it with a half to three quarter ounce weight to basically to cattails, emergent vegetation, Kissimmee grass, bulrushes. The same application though you could use to hit wood, um, you could flip, you know, rip wrap with it in that. It's really versatile um, and especially with the two different sizes you can cover a lot of different applications. Another thing to note too is that it's a great jig trailer. Um, both baits have a, a paddle like tail on them and what you can actually do is if you take a scissors I put a little slit right there it actually ends up swimming just like a swimming worm. So you can use it on a swim jig or you can use it on your flipping jig. And it, it's a great trailer. It'll paddle on down nice and it'll, it'll swim through the water and cut through the grass and give you that nice kind of motion and roll that you're looking for with a swimming jig. But um, definitely something you want to check out. Beyond the flipping applications, you can definitely put it on a shaky head. There's, there's a ton of different applications. But when it comes down to it, flipping's its forte. Like I said, it won the Bassmaster Classic. Definitely try them out. You got the regular otter and the little otter. Both from Gambler. Check them out, guys. Get you some. Get on some grass and start flipping.